Hi guys, it's Ophenia and Sakal here. We're doing session 14 of our Ascension Tools series, the divine inner child. Divine it is, divine it is. And the more that we anchor or remember or open up to again our divine inner child, the more divine we are, the more our divine presence can come in because you know the purity, the innocence of the child nature, it is the purity that your presence needs for it to feel comfortable to anchor further in, you know, and so going back to the purity of when you're a baby, the purity of when you're a small child, when you flowed with your excitements, when you saw something and you went for it and you, or you, you didn't hold yourself back from speaking certain things, from asking certain from questions. From exploring. From exploring until you got told to stop asking those questions mm. over and over again, to stop behaving that way over and over again, to focus over and over again, to come back and sit down over and over again to put your hand up to speak over and over again etc 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 and so eh, 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 your divine inner child just starts to get pushed to the side <laughs> <sighs> and it's a huge part of ourselves it's a huge part of ourselves and so really opening up to embracing that part in yourself again and it's not just about play it's so so much more than that i mean we recently did a meditation that came through yeah. about the masculine just experiencing the masculine, the feminine and the divine inner child. And one of the core messages of that meditation was pretty much always, if not very, very often, the divine inner child is the one that holds the keys to the next level of your growth. Mm. You know, a lot of people love, understand the masculine and feminine and understand there is a divine inner child. It's different, first of all, or second or third of all, wherever we are. <laughs> that's the divine inner child playing to the inner child healing that so many of us have moved through and maybe are still moving through. Yes, you have to heal the inner child and you have to reparent yourself and all of that stuff. This is a bit of a different energy we're talking about. We're talking about the divine inner child. Your masculine, your feminine and your divine inner child make up your spirit. Your divine inner child is that childlike energy that it's okay to be silly and creative and be outside of the norm and the box and the rules of this realm and everything goes, you know, obviously within respecting others and all that type of stuff, but the craziness, but it doesn't always have to be crazy and silly. It can just be, you know, very, what's the word I'm looking for? Essence. Very pure essence. It's, it's yeah, very, it's an energy. It's yeah. an energy and it's sometimes it's fun and creative and laughing and bubbly. And other times it's just really like a the bit, wondering um, of the world, like seeing yeah. a star for the first time, the yes. wonderment of the universe. Yeah, That's the wonder. word I'm looking for it's as well. Wonder, it's yeah. wonder. So really seeing the wonder in everything and addressing the world and your mission in that way allow that always to flow through you know this very final session that we're doing about the ascension consciousness reading about these ascension tools is very important the reading about your inner child shows you how much of your inner child have you grounded or have you got active because you have access to more and more of your inner child but you may need to allow that percentage to grow often in our readings we find it's reasonably low, you know, with exceptions there. And when we see the exceptions, there's often... We get all, so excited. It's <laughs> very excited, too, because there's connections to the elemental realm, often connections to the elemental realm, which they hold what it, we they? call is the fairy energy and all that type of energy, really Mother Earthy type Fifth density energy, uh, crystal yeah. masters type, you know, that type of energy. Often very high inner child. Why? Because that sort of matches up with that energetic signature. Or well, people However, with a lot of uh, pure humor. Yeah, with a lot, a lot of pure of humor and just to laugh a lot. and just yeah. laugh a lot in life and lightness, not sarcasm. Here. And and everyone can allow that percentage to grow, and it's an important part of empowerment. Just like we discussed in the last one, it was about masculine and feminine divine union and having those energies empowered. Your divine inner child needs to be empowered as well, and it's often different than just being playful. There's more to it than just being playful. It's mm -hmm. the Seeing the world, exploring the world, creating your world and your mission through the eyes and the energy of your divine inner child. That's what it's about. Absolutely. And playfulness and creativity and 
thinking and looking and feeling outside the box is a part of that, maybe a big part, but it's more than that. Your divine inner child can be very serious as well, serious in its wonder questions or serious in the purity of the questions that it asks that you may not ask from a masculine and a feminine perspective, but a child would ask that question about a society, about why does that and that happen? Why does this and this still part of, well, and as an adult, you may not have even thought about that. And that is the divine inner child type energy that will allow you, if it is part of your mission as well, to form a new fourth density society. And and part of your mission here is to assist Gaia and humanity in that, or else you wouldn't be here at this time. Yes. So the, as Sakal said, the wonder, and, and I was being shown, you know, a, a baby, maybe a six-month-old baby, and just those big bright eyes just looking, contemplating, taking in, integrating the world. No judgment. No judgment. Pure innocence, but powerful at the same time. So you can, can you feel the power in that child, the, 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 The power of innocence, the power of wanting to know, the power of excitement of what's next, the new growth, the also the power of um, being uh, at a level of pure willingness to learn, because that's the inner child as well. That that ability to be open to learn new ways, learn new things, and because this is something that Sakal and I have really seen a lot of is. People, uh, even in the spiritual world, you know, learning from books and from um, other people and other teachers and gurus and that type of thing, it's it sort of doesn't give space for their own divine inner child to show them the next thing, to allow the evolvement of what is now. Yeah. And that's the other part of the divine inner child now, mm, now, yeah. now, now. You know, children are very much in the now. The here the, and now. Right now. What do I feel right now? What do I want to ask right now? You know, many adults don't ask questions for fear of being embarrassed or for fear of being shut down or because people will be like, you don't know that, duh. And it's like, well... That was just conditioning, and it's time to let go of that. Can come back to that pure innocence, that wonder of, oh, what is that about? I really, I really just want to to know more about that. I want to know, learn a new thing. So it's about accepting that you can be at the bottom of this pyramid of of knowledge, the bottom of this pyramid of wonder, the bottom of this pyramid of this galaxy. Mm. What else is out there? Wow. Look at, you know, even yourself. See yourself in wonderment. Come back to like, oh, you know, little babies, they look at their hands. Oh, beautiful hand. Mm. Oh, wow, look, I can move it. It's beautiful. It's just Mm. like trying new things. Come back to that place where you just explore don't do the known allow new stuff it, you know if you get new input from your presence but you don't see it anywhere else out there a lot of humble very loving star seeds who don't really remember who they are might think whoa that's really weird that's really different i can't <laughs> say that can't do that. That's not right. That's not right. But maybe it's you who's going to bring it through. Maybe it's you that is going to bring through this new wonder. So bring back your wonder. Bring back the expansion of creativity and being in the now, 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 present, present, present. You know, that essence of purity, that essence of excitement you know if you if you've uh, followed Bajar you know it's all about following your excitement and that's all a child does if they're allowed to you know we see children after you know four onwards that's when it's, they start getting chipped away at unless they've been allowed to have that space to really follow because like Sakal said within respect but if a child has been supported to be truly who they are they're always going to respect you know, and mm. there there are ways on this earth of communicating respectfully. And so you can teach them, look, when you're out in 3D, this is the way that people talk. But the way that you are as yourself, that's real, you know, that's real. And so it's doing that for yourself as well, as Sakal said, the reparenting, all of that. But it's really coming back to well, who am I really and how can I be that 
as much as possible in the now. In the now, what am I feeling today? What am I feeling right now? Oh, there's a part of me that's not feeling very satisfied. Okay, I want to just eat to comfort that away. No, no, no. Hang on, let's just feel into it. What is it that I feel like? Oh, I just feel like being creative. Or, oh, I just feel like laying in the hammock. Or, oh, I just feel like cuddling up with my beloved. Or, I just feel like building something. Or, I just feel like, you know, putting all of my laser-like focus energy into that obsessive energy. You can see kids sometimes, they can just be there for hours doing something. And that's exactly what I wanted to add is the perspective that... The divine Focus inner child is divine union, isn't is it? Yeah. in full divine mm. union. Yeah. Full one hundred percent. Like babies, you can't see if they're boy or girl, can you? But if they want that little thing or that particular food or that Ooh, teddy, yeah. they will get it. That's the masculine yeah. energy. Yeah. Or <laughs> they are so creative and nothing is too weird or strange, and yeah. and they flow and they can be and they can just be and be and be, mm. just looking at their finger forever. Mm. Or they can directionally go somewhere. They have full access to their masculine tools, full access to their feminine tools. And it's so interesting. So you could even see the divine child as being in part of your masculine empowerment and part of your feminine empowerment. But an easier way to see it is your spirit is split in masculine, feminine and divine inner child. It's a really good way, very helpful to look at your spirit and also at your soul. That'll really help you to understand how different things work. Ultimately though, the divine inner child is that child energy, is that wonder, is Uh, that purity, but is very masculine and feminine at the same time, all in one energy. Absolutely. It's, It's really going to assist your ascension consciousness to raise if you allow yourself to literally play in the now and that's what is often in our 3d society and that's where we're moving to fourth density it is it is not seen as valuable to be in the inner divine Uh, child energies it's not seen as worthy it is mm. not you know you're not going to get the job done you're not going to progress in your life you're not going to move forward you're not going to be creative and create new things and then actually do them and ground them. The the child is often, you know, it's it's not as seen as valuable. Like if you look at I've it, like get some it's work all done. about the masculine, yeah. masculine, masculine energy and then the feminine energy and then a little lower than the divine inner child and that whole thing needs to shift and shape because mm. it is often all three of them that are needed. Not often, it is always all three of them that are needed, but you can move through different flows as we discussed mm. in the last video. Mm. So moving to fourth density, that is going to be the norm yes people souls are going to be masculine they're going to be feminine they're going to be divine inner child it's going to be all of it Mm. and that's a progression into a next level of consciousness that's why we move from third density to fourth density and that's your spirit just follow your spirit you don't have to force this process oh all of a sudden i have to be more childlike and i'm going to play more and i'm going to be more silly <laughs> that's not the answer the answer is allowing the guidance and the bubbles to move through and to flow bubbles. with them and to allow yourself to be a little bit different and to move and be a little bit weird maybe and allow new ideas to flow through and try different mm. things all of that can be part of the guidance from your divine inner child yeah just so to make sure to it, peel yeah. out the wounding in all of this in the divine inner child in the masculine in the feminine and then allow yourself to be guided by spirit there's a lot of meditations on the channel about the masculine the feminine the divine union the inner child stuff just look them up and get rid of them even like core emotional wound healing healing yourself hate um self image body image all that stuff is part of this yes it's all part of this I just wanted to add as well, you know, we, we're very focused, so Carl and I, we're very mission orientated. Um, if and you hadn't noticed. You hadn't noticed. <laughs> and so, you know, one of, one of the ways that we, just one of the ways we fulfill our inner child is we go with our family to, um, into nature, you know, and, and um, there's a special place where we go to a waterfall and we swim and, These are the moments where it can seem like it's not getting the mission, it's not moving the mission forward, but that's that's the thing. It fills us up pranically. We're just so filled and you know, you just the water just pours down you, you just you you feel the crispness in the water and the the rocks and 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 that is part of the energy. Yeah, absolutely. And it's about doing something not to accomplish 
anything. Mm. You know, the divine inner child often just wants to experience. Yeah. And that's what the, that childlike nature of experiencing. And that's why a lot of people see children as they're just experiencing at the moment. They're not doing their mission. They're not doing their career. What are you going to be when you grow up? Well, guess what, people they're already there, you know. They're already doing what they need to they're do. On we need to watch mission. them, and they are on mission. Absolutely, you know, and to give them that space, just like we need to all learn to give full space to our inner child and say, you know what, I can feel the stress build up. <sighs> Remember to come back to the now. What is the now? Ah, back to my divine inner child. What does that feel like again? You know, we wouldn't need to split it up into feminine, masculine, and divine inner child. Those essences are within it. But in the end, we are one whole. Yeah. And to fulfill that divine inner child is the holistic nature of who we are so that our presence can really come in. And so find those places where you just go, ah. You know, if you've been dreaming about that garden swing, get it, the hammock, the contemplation time, we love contemplate. We sit mm -hmm. and we philosophize and we do what we need to do. And some, you know, there's phases in our life where we do a lot of it and other times when we do it a, a little because we don't need as much because there's just so much creative flow and other times we just put our feet up and we just chat and, we, you know, it's, it's beautiful. It's just being, it's integrating. Mm -hmm. And we just hang out with our kids. We do crazy adventures stuff it's it's just and, being just to experience life just to feel and a good way to maneuver through that that comes through is not to guide yourself to oh i want to be more masculine now or i want to be more in my divine feminine or i want to be more in my divine it's inner child listening. but to allow yourself to just flow mm. and then be very mindful to catch yourself when you are off balance yeah. because then you're flowing so you're like I, I, I'm in too much in my mask than doing now, reset. Or I want to get a bit more, I, I really feel the drive to get a bit more done. Mm. Then that's the reset you need. And those three parts will talk to you clearly. So instead of stepping into one of the parts, allow the flow to pull you and move back a bit. Pull you and move back a bit like the ocean, the ebb and the flow, like the wind, like the rhythms. Move with the rhythms and learn to feel quickly Dance when you're a little together. bit off balance. So don't be off balance for weeks. That can only be maybe half an hour, hour, sometimes a day or a week that you're just off balance and you reset mm. and you reset and you come back to, oh, I need a bit more of that. I need a bit more of that. My divine inner child wants this or my feminine wants this my masculine wants this and that's really how you're going to do that mm. that's easier than the other way around with the mind mm. thinking oh i need to now spend time with my divine inner child oh, <laughs> it's may not really separate, maybe so i'll, yeah. I'll play separate. or something or be a bit silly or laugh at some jokes you see it's not going to work you got to let your organic. spirit organically guide you and before you know it you're going to be a balance of those three and that will also have an effect within your intimate relationship within your family within your friends within groups you're part of ultimately Parenting, within society yeah. and ultimately within all of humanity changing to a next density mm. that's how it all starts it all starts with one person but then flows out from there mm. beautiful well so that completes this, that completes uh, this ascension tool series Yay! this ascension tool <laughs> series yeah we well, we've really enjoyed it doing yeah. it and we, we wanted to do it because we find you know in sessions we can explain it to people who've had the readings but yeah. we wanted to explain it to you guys that that aren't having sessions with us so that you can look at your reading and you can really go through and feel into each zone and you would have known a lot of it anyway but it, it can just really expand those areas and you can focus in on the areas where you need a little bit of growth or guidance so mm. you know um Many blessings on your path. Uh, we will go into different parts of these areas as, you know, we feel like because we flew with our as divine. As guided. <laughs> as our divine inner child or masculine or feminine. Or our love or our life. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We love Thanks, you guys. guys. Take care. Lots of love. And we'll see you next time. See you next Lots time. Love. Bye. Many blessings. <laughs>
Tom, Tom, Lele, Lulu, Mayan, Pop, 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 P